If you're like me, going into the season, you had low expectations on the Giants. When they started 2-0, you're like, this isn't going to last. Don't worry about it. But then they win game after game after game to the point where they beat the Packers. It's like, oh, are they actually legit? And then they beat the Ravens this past Sunday. It's like, okay, yeah, they actually are legit. Like Giants fans, you should be excited because this team is so good because of Saquon Barkley on offense and this defense, which we want to focus in on for this segment. So I was doing a lot of studying, and we're going to show you some film and break it down. Two key things that I noticed about this defense that they do really well that Brian Dable has instilled for this defense. One, they cause confusion. And two, they blitz five or more players in most of their plays. That's what I noticed in that game against the Baltimore Ravens, which we're going to show you some clips. We have five specific plays that we want to show you. First play to show you is probably one of my favorite plays from the Giants defense this past weekend. The line is going to shift towards the right, and they're going to blitz six players. What do we talk about the two, two key things that the Giants defense does? Cause confusion by shifting the line and then blitzing five or more players. They blitz six with safety Dane Belton, number 24, being in on the blitz. Well, Leonard Williams, number 99, focus in on him. When this play happens, what he does is he goes outside, and instead of manning up against the guard, he goes towards the left tackle. The tackle has no choice but to defend against Williams. Well, then Ward kind of switches with Williams in his spot and plays against the guard. And that causes a pick as well by Ward, leaving an open gap for Dexter Lawrence, number 97, to come in and cause pressure and cause havoc on that play. Beautifully designed play by the New York Giants and their defensive staff. The second play we want to show you is a blitz. Blitz five or more players. They blitz five in this particular play. And you're going to see they're going to be heavy on one side with Xavier McKinney, number 29, the safety coming underneath and joining in on the blitz. Now, what makes this play really, really cool is that O'Shane Ziminis, who's having a really good season, you would think that he would have the left side blitz cover lined up against the right tackle. Nope. They actually go really, really heavy on the right side. And then on the left side, they have O'Shane Ziminis playing out in coverage and covering the flat. This is important because of a future play that I'm going to be showing you right here. Again, it's the same concept as a second play. You blitz heavy on one side. Ziminis is going to be playing coverage. But again, they cover the two key things that we talked about, cause confusion and blitz five or more players. They blitz six players here in particular, very heavy on the right side, causing Lamar Jackson to scramble out towards the left. And the confusion part of it was that Ziminis acted like he was rushing, but he kind of stepped back in coverage, kind of went towards the left, right in front of Lamar Jackson, giving Jackson almost little to no options on what to do in that case. Play number four, again, cause confusion and blitz five or more players. Cause confusion by shifting the line, and they blitz five in this particular play. Number 48, take Crowder, the linebacker. I'm guessing he wasn't a QB spy, and he was just covering the man that was in motion. So he sees that the man that he was covering is actually blocking, so that gives him free realm to blitz at that point, which he does, seeing that the pocket is contained. He just misses the sack at this point. Lamar Jackson uses his legs, kind of scrambles out. But if it's any other quarterback that can't make match happen with his legs, this is going to be a sack by Tay Crowder. And then the last play to show you, I don't know if you remember back in 2010 when Rob Ryan was the defensive coordinator of the Cleveland Browns. They faced the Patriots, and they destroyed Tom Brady and their offense because of a defense that they called the Amoeba defense, where you had linebackers, safeties, corners, defensive tackles, defensive ends, all lined up in the middle, and you don't know who's going after the quarterback, who's going to be back in coverage. They're all just kind of huddled up, kind of trying to confuse the quarterback, and that caused a lot of confusion. This is exactly what the Giants and Brian Dable did this past weekend. You're going to have two defensive ends set in Leonard Williams and Jihad Ward on the outside. But then besides that, you've got Kayvon Thibodeau, Dexter Lawrence, and O'Shane Ziminis lined up all in the middle. What they do here, again, key number one, cause confusion. And then key number two, they blitz five players. Now they blitz all these players that are lined up and kind of huddled up in the middle. It causes a lot of confusion for Lamar Jackson, causing confusion and causing confusion and blitzing. That is why the Giants' defense is so good. That's why they're going to be competing for a playoff spot in January. And dare I even say, competing with the Eagles for the NFC East title. Uh, but that's a film breakdown portion of it. I mean, to really wrap it up, I just want to give you my praise, New York Giants, for what you've done, the front office, drafting Kayvon Thibodeau, because they had pick number five and pick number seven in this past year's draft. They needed, desperately needed a tackle. That was their number one priority, but they thought to themselves, hey, we pick in two picks, being at number five. We are okay with either tackle that's still on the board, Iki Ikuanu or Evan Neal. Whichever one falls to us, we're going to get at number seven. Let's go ahead and get one of, if not the best player 
that people talked about in the NFL draft and Kayvon Thibodeau and has made a world of difference. And when Aziz Ojulari, who they got in the second round a couple years back, comes back, this Giants defense is going to get better and better. Leave your thoughts in your comments. What do you think of the Giants defense? Do you think that they're going to get far? The Giants team as a, as a whole, do you think that they have a chance against the Eagles for the NFC East? Would love to hear your thoughts.